Hey everyone, so today we'll be talking about the Azure Fundamentals exam, which is the AZ900. Uh, I took it back last year in June, so it's almost been a year, but uh, I have some insights and in how I prepared for the exam. Hopefully it'll help you guys to prepare for yours. So yeah, let's dive right into the video. So yeah, guys, let's talk about the AZ900 exam, uh, the Azure Fundamentals. Um, I gave this exam back in June uh, 2020. So I think it has, I think it had a few changes. I am not sure, but we'll look into it. Um, yeah, it took me around uh, 20, 21 to 22 days. Uh, give or take for the preparation and kind of spent 40 to 60 minutes every day uh, yeah so the resources I kind of used were um, the Microsoft Learn as you guys all know I am a huge advocate of Microsoft Learn and yeah so if you look at the exam description here all candidates for the Azure Fundamental Certification should have foundational knowledge of cloud services and how these services are provided with Azure. Uh, this certification is intended for candidates who are just beginning to work with cloud-based solutions and services or are new to Azure. So basically, it's it's a broader exam and kind of gives you an overview of what Azure is and how you can utilize uh, different services that it has for cloud-based solutions um, yeah so let's look into the skills measured so we'll go really deep into the cloud concepts and the services that Azure has to offer so some of it is in-depth not a lot but uh, as you can see like with every fundamental exam um, that I have done review uh, if you haven't checked it out, you can check it. Check out my videos. I'll link it down in the description for security and uh, data fundamentals. But yeah, as with any other fundamental certification, it is uh, not in depth, but it still covers a broader aspect of what Azure is. Um, as you can see, the next uh, skills that will be measured are described core solution and management tools on Azure. Uh, and then general security and network security features, uh, governance, identity, privacy, compliance, and then cost management and SLAs, so service level agreements. So yeah, that is kind of uh, the overview for the exam. And then if we look at individual uh, objectives, you can kind of see the weightage for each objective. So the core cloud concept cover around 20 to 25%. Core Azure services, 15 to 20 percent. Um, core solutions and management tools on Azure, 10 to 15. Security and network security is 10 to 15. And then identity and governance uh, is 20 to 25. And the last one is the cost management and SLAs is around 10 to 15 percent. So yeah, as I told you guys, like it's a really broad exam and kind of gives you like a like you need to know Azure as a platform in a complete sense, like what kind of infrastructure as service it gives you uh, platform as service and then software as service. Um, and also like have the basic understanding of what cloud ha cloud is, and, like cloud concepts. So yeah, um, that is kind of the overview that uh, Microsoft has mentioned in their guide um as i said i used microsoft learn so there are currently one two three four five six so six uh paths and each of them have around four to five modules on average so yeah i went through all of these and on the video course i used andrew's free course uh, on youtube I'll link it down um, I just did it after going through the learn just to like refresh uh, 
what I've gone through and kind of revise the stuff that already was covered in Learn. But yeah, I do recommend going through the course. Um, yeah, it's, it's three hours and ten minutes, so it's it's not huge, but yeah, it's it definitely my go-to. Um, what else? Oh, also, I have a blog post uh, about how I passed the Azure fundamentals, and as you can see, I kind of didn't spend any money um, because yeah, Microsoft Learn is free, and then as I told, like Andrew's courses on YouTube through Free Code Camp, so that's free too. Um, the other thing is virtual training days. So Microsoft has these uh, virtual training days, which you can register for. This would also count as a resource because they, they go like it they go over a few training material and I think it's pre-recorded. I'm not sure, but I, I, I did feel like it was pre-recorded. And you basically get to set the exam for free uh, if you're using the same email for the registration as your Pearson or whatever certification account you use. Um, you're eligible for the free certification um make sure your account is linked if you're using a different email but yeah um that is kind of my overview uh, of the az 900 and as per for the experience as i kind of talked at the beginning that it is like a really broad exam um for preparation as i said i took around like 40 to 60 minutes uh every day um for 20 to 25 days something around that um and yeah so let's go into the uh whiteboard here again so yeah microsoft learn um oops free code camp youtube course and microsoft virtual training days so that's how I was able to prepare and give the exam uh, for free. I think it is $99 otherwise for the exam. And oh, by the way, I also have uh, taken some notes. And that's notes.reshub.cloud. So as part of my learning journey, I kind of took notes for my certifications last year. I think I sat around eight of them and can go through those here really quick. So if you go to notes.reship.cloud and they are available on GitHub too. Um, so if you feel like I missed something or you want to contribute to it, feel free. Um, so yep, here is the notes app that I built. Um, it's basically a static uh, app through Gatsby and so these were the exa exams that I kind of took last year. Uh, there were, I think, two more um, for which I haven't uh, done the work for notes yet because they're like physical notes and it takes time to just like digitize them. And I want to make sure like they're good notes and not something mediocre. Um, but yeah, I, I have been sharing these a lot uh, and I've gotten some good comments from people that, like they're they help them with their preparation so what i usually suggest is like before the day of the exam just go through these just to uh revise or a refresher on what uh, will be asked in the exam so yeah they're not they're not too in-depth but i think they cover like the broader aspect of the z900 and yeah so basically that was kind of my uh, preparation for AC900 last year and hope it helps you guys uh, to give a perspective on how the exam is and what you should do and how much time it should take you for preparation but yeah that's it for this video and make sure you hit the subscribe button I'm really happy to have 300 uh, subscribers so yeah please keep supporting and thank you until the next video